I caught my first big fish ever. This is really a, a great thing that Sportsman Channel does, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. There's more fish out here. They're coming. There you go, you can see it. <laughs> wow, nice, you did it. I think that'll feed more than a few people. Hey man, I'm gonna check yeah, that's a nice I'm gonna text them. Awesome. It's a fitting in to another great hunt fish feed, and I've got quite a few hunt fish feeds under my belt. We fed about 300 people today. Um, venison tacos, poached salmon, a full meal, a very nutritious meal. I've been cooking fish and game all my life. I grew up hunting and fishing. It's been a passion of mine. And one thing that I've learned about sportsmen is that they were a very generous group of people. If we, if we tell people, hey, we've got a few hundred hungry people that need some help in Chicago, we will get the response from groups like the Mule Deer Foundation and Safari Club, and they will rally to the cause. The local Salmon Unlimited folks here provided a great meal, and as always, it's a very responsive and appreciative group. There's a lot of hungry people around the country right now. We do feed people three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, our homeless population consists of men, women, and children. We have single men, single women. We also have families with mother, father, and children. We also shelter single fathers nowadays with children. We have grandparents with children. And we also feed some extras that may need a meal at the moment from the neighborhood. And the food really goes around. Salmon is, of course, high in protein. And uh, so it's really a privilege to be able to have that kind of meat here today, that kind of fish. And so we're, we're thankful for uh, agencies that come in, such as Sportsman's Channel and Hunt Fish Feed and Comcast, who really take their time and, and donate. Uh, they, they care that people um, have needs and they care about you know where to send their, their surplus meat. Yeah, you know, uh, hunters and sportsmen, they kind of get a bad rap sometimes, people that don't understand hunting and they think, you know, we're just out there killing animals for no good. And, and you know, we eat a lot of what we do, uh, what we kill. Uh, we eat it ourselves, and there's a lot of programs out there about donating meat back to people, which is super cool. So this, these hunt fish feed events, that's what I think is great about them, is hunters are giving back to the community, especially in some of these urban environments where people aren't exposed to hunting, and, and they maybe don't get a positive reaction to hunting. Now they're getting a, a first-hand touch at hunters. I've had people ask me, so after you shoot a duck, what do you do with it? They don't even know that we take them home and eat it. We do appreciate the game that we harvest, and we're always willing to share. We're not killers. We're conservationists who care about our natural resources and really want to help out our fellow man. The reason that I love the Hunt Fish Feed Program, first of all, I'm a hunter, and so I really love venison and all kinds of wild meat and fish. 
And so I really feel like it's an excellent uh, resource for our kitchen to be able to serve our homeless people uh, something that they normally wouldn't get. And so I do encourage all fishermen and all hunters to um, enjoy themselves hunting and fishing, but also uh, give us your extra. Give the shelters a call, give the game processors a call, and see if you can put those two together with you. If you've got a freezer full of meat that you just can't get to, give the shelter a call and see if they can use some of your wild boar, venison, salmon. Or donate your time, you know, come out. Um, you know, I've been back there for a while just standing over a hot fryer cooking meat and it's super rewarding. It's going to be cool to see these families come in and get this hunter, this hunter killed meat and to feed it to them and I'd encourage anybody to get out there and, and volunteer and just give it back a little bit to their community. If anyone would like to help out and be a part of our program, please contact us at cco.life.org. We have a lot of people here, we have a lot of needs and we really need people to come and help us. We cannot do this by ourselves. It's rewarding for the people here, it's rewarding for the volunteers, and it's rewarding for us. So it's a all-win situation. Well, for anybody that hasn't been out to this event, especially if they're a veteran, I think they should get out to it. Uh, it's a great day of fishing and hanging out with your buddies or maybe people you haven't met yet, but you probably need to meet. And it's a, a way for us to always uh, remember and say thanks to people like PFC Jeffrey Morris, who gave the ultimate sacrifice. You know, I think a lot of times people, we use that term, you're never forgotten. and it's because of events like this that people are never forgotten. This event is only great because of the people that put it together and the sponsors that help out. So I, if anybody wants to donate their time, I would highly recommend it and appreciate it. Just a quick shout out to PFC Jeffrey Morris's father, Kirk Morris. I want to thank you for putting such an excellent event together just so I could be a part of it. You will be seeing me next year, but I want you to realize how much this man has put into holding this event. Please don't be stingy. Come out, enjoy the food, the weather, everything else, this environment. Please come and be a part of it. Previous years, we've had over 100 wounded warriors join us on Sunday. There's an awful lot of veterans out there that want to fish, and it's a real privilege to be able to take them out there. But if you're one that likes to fish, or if you're a veteran that wants to experience what it's like to fish on the Great Lakes for salmon, look us up. Uh, it's the Jeffrey Morris Tournament. There's a website, there's a Facebook page, um, there's a fair amount of uh, information out there about it, but it's right here in North Point Marina, Winthrop Harbor, Illinois, and if you're one of those folks that believe that, that giving back to our country and to the men who sacrifice so dearly for our country, this is the tournament for you. If you're a sponsor that believes in supporting our veterans, this might be a tournament for you to support. If you're someone that knows how to fillet fish, we could use your help. Uh, there's an awful lot of things that, um, that a successful tournament the size of ours needs. And we, we ask you to get involved, contact us, and we'll be happy to help you and tell you, show you and point you in a direction where you can help us. And I thank you very much for your time.